guys, Moonlight Butterfly Miku here, and um, today I decided to do like an individual rant on something that I really, really, really can't stand. I'm going to be doing a lot of these rants, so yeah. So what I'm going to be talking about today is bullying. Now, at some point or another in time, we've always, we've all, I'm sorry, been victim victims of bullying. And, um, well, me. I'm a prime example. I was bullied a lot, mainly in junior high. And it's so, I can't, I just can't stand people who want to just live to make other people's lives miserable. It's not cool. It's not cute. It's really ignorant and stupid. I, it, there would be times where I wouldn't even want to go to school because I would like of the constant bullying that I endured and I hated it. I hated it. That was, I consider that point of my time of my life it was one of the worst but hey people won't be stupid right what can you do and back then i didn't really have well i didn't stand up for myself as much as i should have because i was scared primarily i didn't want to get into a fight or get beat up or anything like that and i was the quiet one back then i was very 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 quiet i would keep to myself i had a few friends but i didn't really trust anyone back then but I, w I was the type to keep it for myself. And kids, like back in, in the school days, kids draw to you if you're withdrawn and quiet and you stay away from, you know, if you stay to yourself, that's the ones that, that's like the target. They're like, oh, Sam, I can mess with her. I can mess with him. And that's not cool. Leave people alone. Like, come on. Would you want somebody really to come up to you and just hit you upside the head for no reason or, or, or verbally bashing you, calling you, you ugly this, you this, that, and the third? That's not cool. That's not cool. And I never... To this day, cannot stand people like that. You want to make other people's lives miserable because you're miserable? That has shit. I'm sorry to use profanity, but that has shit to do with me. And the person, honestly, I think of like the whole bullying period that I have gone through. It has strengthened me, actually. Because now, like back then, I would never talk up for myself. I'd be like in the corner, you know, scared. Oh, what are they going to say? I don't want Now? I dare, I dare someone try that with me. You dare try that with me. And you're going to see what happens. Because I am very, like, I'm a, I'm pretty aggressive. I'm like, how could I describe it? I'm like, hmm. It's kind of hard to say, but it's just like, you don't want to push that envelope with me. You really don't. Because I take what I have endured and I have used that to make me into a much stronger person. I'm not afraid to tell you off. I will put you in your place and I will tell you off. If you think you're going to get over on me, <laughs> you got another thing coming. But the point I'm trying to make is, I'm not going to make this a long, drawn out video. I just wanted to give you a little um, history on that and about bullying and everything. And I just I just can't stand it, even today. And over the years, we already know it has gotten much worse. When I was in school, it was verbally bashing and all that. We didn't have all the internet things, you know, Facebook, Twitter, and all this other, um, Instagram, and all this other things that, you know, that they can use to bully people now. Cyberbullying. It, it's crazy. This bullying thing, like, it has drawn people to kill themselves. And that is not funny at all. I find that horrible that a person would kill themselves because of what these asshole. Please excuse my French. I am sorry to use profane language, but it just bugs me that these assholes have caused them to go and kill themselves, to take their own lives. That is going too far. Now that is cause for expulsion and jail time because that's not, that's not, I've heard so many stories and just, it hurts me in the inside because I have gone through this, but I would never take it to that extreme. But for what I'm saying is that like for you bullying victims out there, don't, don't let it get you down. You gotta learn to speak up. I know you sometimes you don't want to start anything with anyone, but sometimes you have to find it in yourself to speak up and say, hey, leave me the fuck alone, period, or else I'm going to kick your ass. Sometimes it's going to have to come to that point where, like, you know, you may have to do the fight or flight method. Well, am I going to fight or am I going to run? And sometimes you're going to have to fight. Luckily, I've never gotten to fights, but, and I'm going to keep it that way, but that's, that's pretty much all it is. You just have to try and invoice yourself. Be strong. Do not let these people get the best of you. You are wonderful. You are beautiful. You are a wonderful, special person. You are special. They are going to be miserable, grow up to be nothing. You're going to be the one who's succeeding. So keep that in mind. Anyone who's been um, victims of bullying, please keep that in mind. You can't let people, people's, people, 
let's just put it this way. People are always going to find a way to bring you down because they're at their lowest point. So hey, misery loves company. I'm going to bring this person down to my level so they can be just as miserable as I am. Don't you let them. That's all I'm going to say. Don't you let them do that to you. You keep your head up, you keep on going, and you keep doing you. Do not let bullies get the best of you. And if you have been a victim of bullying, let that make you stronger. Don't let it make you so withdrawn that you don't even want to leave that. I mean, I know people that, that they don't want to leave the house. I mean, they're afraid people are always talking about them. You cannot worry about people. You can't. The only person, the only person you should be worrying about is you. So never let the bullies get the other hand. Never. And once you see that, you know, Block out the haters. That's pretty much just block out the haters. People gonna hate on you regardless of who you are. You could be the prettiest person, the handsomest person, the strongest person, the smartest person, and people are always gonna find something to say about you. But you know what? You don't let them. You block them out. You keep on doing you. That's all I'm good. That's pretty much all I gotta say about it. So I just wanted to do a little bit of a rant on it. I didn't want to go too long and too wild, but that's all I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave it on that note. So. Um, subscribe if you like this. I'm going to be doing a lot more um, rant videos in the future about different things. If you have something you want me to talk about, a topic, I'll be glad to um, take that into consideration. Leave it in the comments below. Subscribe. And we'll be getting back to this another time. So until then, this is Moonlight Butterfly Miku saying bye.